getting ready to inspect these long hives. probably been in here long enough now to find some eggs so that's kind of what the goal is of course I laid this board right where it's going to be in my way Definitely bringing in some pollen. Definitely got some larva. No cap comb yet, but we got larva and we got pollen. I see bee bread. Ah, there's what I'm looking for. Set this down where you can see. a hold of this don't know if you can see it or not but there's actually a cat brood there <clears throat> so that means our queen is intact in this hive this is the one where the queen run up my arm also a cat brood on this side because I got cat brood and I saw eggs and I saw larva I'm pretty much done with this I am going to add Some more they really need this uh they really need that pollen patty above the brood nest but I'm just gonna leave it where it's at because that's where they know where it's at for now I mostly did that just to give them a head start anyways. It's not like they gotta have it. Get these boards back in. I'm gonna go ahead and top off their feeder. But this hive is doing as I would expect, which is always good, because after having that queen run up my arm, I was a little concerned. I ain't gonna joke with you.
This is a uh, half to one sugar syrup with some bee brood, uh, brood formula in it that I make up. I've got a video on how to make this. It's a pretty common formula used by a lot of beekeepers. It's mostly like a spearmint, wintergreen, tea tree oil, and that sort of thing. Anyways, on to the next hive. This one's good enough. This, by the way, is my long Langstroth hive. It's a test hive I built for this year. I've got two more long hives in the back. Uh, another Langstroth hive in the back and a Langstroth hive over here too. These are the Saskatraz bees. They should also be ready. They should also be ready for sugar syrup and they should also have capped brood by now. Definitely need some sugar syrup. I have left my hive tool somewhere. Oh, it's in my other pocket. Cat brood means our queen is good. That's all I needed to see. They still got plenty of space. Cat brood. I gotta get them some sugar syrup, and that they're good to go too. So this hive is also moving right along. Just as I would expect it to be. For its age. And get this some sugar syrup. Sugar syrup, hive back together. These guys are probably good for 
other than sugar syrup for a week or two. Next, we got our other two long hives over here. These are my Laystroth hives. These were installed from Nukes. Give them a heads up. I'm getting ready to open this up. They've been pretty calm for the most part. The, the other hive up there, though, has been really aggressive. Every time I've been in it, this one's been really calm. That one's been really aggressive. So one thing I can tell you right off the bat is they don't need sugar syrup. Kind of see there. It's pretty close to full. These were just put in four days ago. But what I'm really wanting to see is how they're doing on comb. Whether or not I see fresh eggs and larvae. I actually do see that they are building out some new comb. Usually that's a pretty good sign. I really need to move this board over is what I need to do. I stuck this in here, it's pretty tight because I intended to fill it out with more frames and I just haven't gotten to it yet. New comb, they're cleaning up. There's some uh, honey they are got capped on top of this already. Don't see anything as far as eggs go. I gotta keep an eye on these bees too because I don't really have these frames set up correctly. On this side, I see some uh, capped larvae. Some more capped honey. More capped brood. Still no sign of the queen yet though. Capped brood. Honey and bee bread. Cat brood. Pollen. Nectar I meant. I'm going to call this one good too. Just because they see, I see about everything that it would indicate there's a queen in there. And they've only been in here for three or four days. So it'll take them a little bit of time to get situated. I would say that's going to be good. I'm probably also going to need to get some more frames in here. So they're good on sugar syrup. One bee there I want to get away. Another bee there I want to get away. And this one up here has been aggressive every time I've looked at it. We'll see how they're doing today. They need sugar syrup, for sure.
trying to give these guys a little extra heads up because like I said, they've been pretty aggressive. How aggressive? Well, I think I kind of originally said these are like Af Africanized bees. They were pretty aggressive. They're working on some, uh, building some comb over here. That's always a good sign. Got some uh, bee bread over here. Cat brood over here. I see larva, that's all I needed to see. They need some. Sugar syrup and they'll be on their way. Which is good, cause I didn't have to get too deep into their hive. Get them some sugar syrup and we'll be done with it. I normally use wide mouth jars for these sugar syrup and I don't know why but I grabbed two jars that already had the holes cut that is not <laughs> wide mouth and they just barely fit my holes that I got here but they do fit and that's all that matters so we are done didn't even get stung today anyways thanks for watching as always God bless you God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.